Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can probably tell from the state of my hair, we are going to be doing another hair tools video. I actually compared two hair waivers about a few months ago from Amazon and I really enjoyed doing that video so I wanted to do another one. And I was looking at the Amazon like gift guide website and this was one of the products that actually come up. This is the F-U-R-I-D-N, Ferdin, is that how that's pronounced? But this is the Professional Hair Straightener Brush. And so I kind of got to going down a rabbit hole and was like looking at this one and then I was like, well, let me see what their other like best sellers are. And then they had this one by T-Y-M-O. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but this is also a hair straightener comb. So they were very similar and like, again, this one was like under the holiday recommended and then the other one was like a best seller. So I thought we'd get them both out and try them. I haven't read too much about these because I didn't want the reviews to, you know, affect like how I felt. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and compare both of these today. That's why I've got the middle part going on. I do wanna go ahead just really quick and give you guys a background about my hair. So I do, as you guys can see, have a lot of hair, but I do have very fine, thin hair. Um, but it is relatively straight. As you guys can see, for the most part, it's straight. But again, you guys can see, I've just got a lot of frizziness, just again, a lot of breakage. I've just never had the best, I guess, hair jeans. Um, so usually what I do is I blow dry my hair with like a round brush when it's wet and that keeps it pretty straight. But then I do have to go in with a flat iron and kind of straighten pieces like this, kind of just hit it a few times. So I thought that if this would kind of do a better job because the reason I don't like running a flat iron through my whole hair is where my hair is already so fine and thin, it does make it look really nice and sleek, but it makes it look very flat. So from what I'm understanding about what I read about in like the sections of this on Amazon is it's supposed to kind of give you that straight appearance but and help with the frizz, but still give you body and volume. So I'm excited to try both of these out. So I think what we're going to do is, is actually we're going to try out this one first, the Ferdin professional hair straightening brush because this is the one that again caught my attention first So I did just pull up a little bit of information here on Amazon so I can just tell you guys So this was $54.99 so it is a little bit of a pricey product, but it says that it's supposed to um, It's applied the most innovative ion technology in combination with ceramic coating which allows you to get a stunning silky luxurious look it has ceramic glaze that will not fade even after 5 million times so um, it says it's supposed to have shine hair in one pass. It heats up super fast. Say goodbye to burns. So basically this is supposed to have how the brush is made some kind of technology from what this says on here that like you can get really close to your scalp without burning it. Again, we will see. And this is supposed to be for all hair types. So again, I didn't want to, you know, like look too much into this because I wanted to try it just as like I normally would. And Again, I don't usually read instructions with stuff like this, but I did see how a lot of like their instructions said to do it and it's actually telling them to do it like as you would a brush. In their actual pictures online here, I don't see anybody like sectioning off their hair or anything. They're using it just like they would a regular brush. So that's how I'm gonna do this one. But really quick, I will go ahead and unpackage this one and get it heating up and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I do have this plugged up so um, this does actually have five heat settings and this is what these little dots are, which I believe might actually be, yeah, you guys can see them right here. So the first one is 430, 390, 355, 300, and 265. So usually you guys know if you have fine, thin hair, you kind of want to go more towards a lower setting. So how you actually do this is you rotate the handle, it says. So, okay, so it's blinking, which again might be kind of hard to see. Oh, you can see it right there. So I'm going to put this on, I feel like I should keep it on 265, but I'm going to put this on 300 and I'm just going to kind of let it heat up. Again, I really like the little thing that they include in here. So and it does, I'm going to do exactly what she's doing here. It shows on these pictures. Now this does say, I wanted to mention that you do have to do this on dry hair. Um, so it says it's perfect for second day hair. It glide, eliminates frizz, so hair is transformed in just a few quick strokes. Um, Okay, so it says it has an automatic sleep mode for extra peace of mind, which one of those um, waivers actually has, and I really like that. So um, this is already heated up. The lights are staying on, so I'm so nervous. I'm always nervous when I do these. So I'm just going to do this half of my hair. I don't, again, it doesn't really matter. But she's not sectioning off her hair. She's just grabbing it like she would with a regular brush. So I don't know. I mean, okay, so she's, so here we go. She's going over the same piece two different times, like two different ways. So, 
it doing anything? Okay, yep, yep, I can feel that my hair is hot. Okay. I don't, I don't feel like that, did that do anything? Okay. Oh, brush down slowly. So it says repeat until all hair is straightened and then place the brush close to the roots. So I guess you're supposed to just place like this when she, okay, yeah. So you're not burning your scalp like that, which is nice. I'm gonna go a little bit slower because I think I went kind of fast on that first one. I mean, I think I've done pretty good for just two swipes. And again, that's not super hot. And I am up to 300 already. I'm going to go ahead and just go up to 355 and just see if that makes a difference on one swipe. I just want to see. So again, that's heating up. But that is, again, just that was one kind of swipe, which this is fine. Like I said, I still got some frizziness, but it's not bad. It's not something that I would, like, really worry about. Okay, so I'm going to take another piece. Again, it doesn't say how thick of a piece to take anywhere right here so I'm just kind of guessing <laughs> so again already heated up which is super nice so I'm just going to and then it says to go slowly I feel like I'm going super slow now so I kind of like this like comb situation oh okay I did pull out some hair there on that stroke and so then go back this way so I guess you could do your whole head one way and then come back the other but yeah I can definitely go a lot faster when I, it gets up to 355 it was so I mean that's I mean I like it it's not that I don't like it but I'm gonna try to hit these ends right here in the front just a little bit again So that, 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 that helps like quite a bit. I feel like it took like the wave out of the front of my hair um, compared to this side. But let's do a few more pieces and then we'll try out the other one. All right, guys. So this is this side completely done with that Furden um, brush. I believe that's how that's pronounced. I'm sorry if it's not. But again, here's the difference. I feel like it did really help with like um, frizziness compared to, of course, this side. And again, it kind of took the wave that's like right here out of like kind of like this up out of my hair. And I'll show you guys kind of what the ends are looking like. So again, really helped with the frizziness and stuff. And of course, this one just looks really ratty. Um, something that I noticed they didn't mention, but this does actually have the swivel. And to turn this off, you actually just turn it back until it gets right here to like the little um, sun. At least it looks like a sun to me. Um, so yeah, I did want to mention that. Now we're going to actually move on to the TYMO. Again, I don't know how that's pronounced. Um, hair straightener comb. So this one tells you um, that it also has five temperature levels. Now there is a difference. This one goes down to 265. This one goes down to 266. So it's just a degree difference. But this one does just go up to 410 and this one goes up to 430. Um, this one says it heats up in 60 seconds. I definitely feel like that brush, the Ferdin one, definitely heated up a lot quicker in 60 seconds. This one does have a 30 minute auto shut off, which I think is really, really nice if you're someone who has a tendency to leave your straighteners on and stuff like that. That's something that I really appreciate. Um, this one also says it has the 360 swivel and it does have an international dual voltage and then auto lock temperature at 338. So I will be honest, the box to this one is super nice. This one actually lifts up and looks like this. So this one's got some like extra stuff in here, I believe. Okay, yeah, you're getting, oh, this one's cute. Okay, so you get a little, is this a comb? Yes, you get a little comb. Okay, let's see what the little comb looks like. So cute so if you can show you my ring light and my reflection but again you do get just if it'll focus there we go a little comb to just I guess comb through your hair this is the side I've already done so and again it's really nice I don't want to run a comb through the side um, but yeah so that's really nice you do get some extra stuff in here you get some hair clips so I guess they're 
expecting you to kind of section your hair off when you use this one. Um, again, I'll read the instructions when we actually get in here. Oh, you get two hair clips. I'm sorry, I lied. You get two hair clips, and then you get a really nice, like, velvet bag to put this in. Let's see, yeah, go focus there. It's a really nice velvet bag. You know what this reminds me of or I feel like this looks like this kind of looks like the Dyson tools I feel like so ooh, okay this one is definitely heavier the quality definitely feels honestly a lot better than that one just how it feels so um, right off the bat I'll just show you guys the this one is a lot thinner now this one has um, it looks like an extra row around the edges where this one does not but again, this one looks very similar in how, I guess, the lights are going to tell you, like, the degrees. Let's see here. I bet they, like, light up. Um, and then, let's see here. So, they have a YouTube channel. And here is the manual. Oh, and, and you get a glove. So, um, I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to use the glove. This one was supposed to have some kind of, like, anti-burn um, technology. I didn't burn myself, so I'm guessing this doesn't have this. I bet that's what this was for. This right here on this outer edge was for. Okay, so I'm going to hook this one up really quick, and I'll be right back. All right, so I actually have this one heating up to the third setting. This one definitely takes a little bit longer to heat up. So I am doing this on the third setting, which they recommend for dyed or dark colored hair. I was going to do it on the thin fine hair, which is setting two, but to kind of be fair, um, I want to do 338, which is closest to the third setting on that, the um, gold one, which was 355. So this one doesn't has small pictures down here, but it actually has instructions for straight hair versus curly hair. So of course I have straight hair, so I'm going to stick to um, this one right here. So again, this one as well says that you do have to use this on dry hair. So you're not supposed to use any spray, styling agent, or other inflammable, inflammable um, product why you're using this so again I've got mine and it has heated up um, it has the same little three dots as you guys can see they're now all lit up so from what this is saying it says that it's ready so now this says that you split the hair into strands evenly grasp and take up put the prepared hair strand into comb and starting from the hair root okay so this one from what it sounds like is you don't flip it like this it's sounding like you're just exactly pulling straight down so since this is a little bit thinner, I am going to start out with more of a thinner piece of hair than I did with the burden one. So, and again, ooh, okay, that one, that one, this one definitely feels hotter. And I, okay, I'm going to have to turn the temperature down on this one. Oh, wow. Holy moly. Did, did you guys see that? This one is like super straight. Okay, so... Um, I feel like this one's third setting is a lot hotter and it says that the other one was going to be. Okay, um, let me just try and actually take a thicker piece of hair. Maybe I didn't take a thick enough piece of hair. I mean, that was fine. I was just really surprised. Now, this one I definitely feel like I can go a lot faster with than I could the gold one. The, oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. I'm going to just try it this way, but it doesn't say to do it like this, but I'm just trying it like this compared to the other way so okay I definitely feel like it works better doing it like it said just combing down so okay I can definitely already tell you guys which one I like better this one I feel like gives a very like similar appearance to a actual straightener um, but just not as much heat I feel like so I like this one. I think if you like more of the naturally straight look, you'll probably like the Ferdin one better. But like both sides feel soft from what I've done, but this side feels sleeker, I guess you could say. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to try again kind of one of these under pieces here. And I'm just going to hold it like it's showing in the picture here and just pull down. Again, I feel like I can go a lot quicker with this one than I could with the other one. Okay, yeah, this is like super quick. Um, again, I kind of wonder if I could just like, if I didn't have to section off any of my hair, 
if I could just like keep brushing it. So again, I didn't use the hair clips or anything, but it is nice that you do have them. So, all right, so there's a little piece left back here. I'm going to split this in half. Actually, I wanna see if this will do this whole big piece. I just wanna try. Ah, maybe. Oof, okay, so just for the heck of it, I'm gonna do like I did with the other one and I'm just gonna like start here, just like, and just kind of like brush down just a few times. Oof, okay. Well, I think you guys know which one <laughs> I already like better, but I'm just gonna hit kind of like underneath here as well. Wow, that. Okay, so I'm sorry my chair is squeaking, guys. I just, <laughs> I, like, my dad helped me spray like some oil on it, it's still, and it still squeaks. So, yeah, I think there's a clear winner here on this one. So, this one definitely, especially up here at the top of my hair, as you guys can see, like, it sits definitely more flat. So, if you don't like that, you might have to maybe add some, like, um, some, like, hairspray and kind of, like, squish it up. But I don't mind it being, like, super flat to my head. But this one is more straight. I think this side looks a lot shinier than this side does. Um, but this side feels like a little bit more like thick. And this one kind of feels more of like that typical I run like a actual flat iron through my hair. Again, we'll just pull the split in or the, yeah, my split ends. <laughs> pull my ends up here and we'll just see what they look like. Um, I do think the ends look pretty similar. There's not really much of a difference between them. But... I mean, again, I definitely feel like this side looks shinier. It looks smoother. Yeah, so definitely a clear winner for me this time. Um, I believe I will keep this one, and I'm actually going to send this gold one back. I feel like while this is great, and I like the whole not burning you kind of like technology, again, I believe that's what this extra edge was right here, so you could really get close to like your scalp. But I feel like this um, one was just as easy. And again, the quality of this is better. It feels heavier. Definitely prefer this one. And the price difference is not that much uh, difference. This one is more expensive right now. Um, but this one is on sale. Again, I'll link these both down below if you want to check them out. But this one, again, there's something about this that just reminds me of the Dyson products. But I really, really like this. So I believe it continues to blink blue when like it's cooling down. I read that somewhere in here. So yeah, I really, really like this. Again, I'm not a super huge fan of like the middle part on me personally. Um, but yeah, guys, I really, really like this. What I'm gonna do really quick though is I'm gonna flip my hair over to one side and I think I'm gonna take this one that I really like and see if I can kind of straighten it out and see how it looks. All right, so I'm just taking the like little comb that they sent with it, which I think is super cute. And again, you guys couldn't see, it's just brushing through so easy. Wow, well, I really, I really like this one. So, all right guys, I think again, like you guys could probably tell, this one was definitely a clear winner. Again, this is the TYMO. I'm not sure how that is pronounced, but this one is definitely by far my favorite. I just feel like it feels really nice. The quality feels a lot better. Again, this one feels quite cheap. I believe I'm going to wrap this one up and return it because it just, it, there's just no comparison. Again, this one just gives you like a sleeker feel, a, I feel like a straighter feel. It looks shinier. Um, again, I did toss my hair over and I just went over it with this. And again, I just feel like it looks really nice. Again, I don't think that really either one of these would be like great if you're someone who likes that stick straight, you know, hair that like a flat iron gives but in all honesty I think that this gives a very like similar look it's just not as stick straight but again you know now that I've gotten older I don't like that look on my hair personally I like to kind of look like I've got some body and life to my hair but I, there's nothing wrong if you like the stick straight hair it's just not for me but yeah I again really like both sides I just keep looking here and you know that I did not go over like this side with this I just went over this side oh I did go over this like little piece right here with it but I mean 
overall, I think if you're wanting one or the other, I would personally recommend this one. Um, I think that this would make a great gift for anybody as well, especially someone who doesn't typically like like stick straight hair, but they do like their hair to look straight. I think that this would be a great option. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there is any other hair tools you think I should try, let me know. I actually think I might see if I can find some like curling irons off of Amazon and try those. But overall, this one's going to get two thumbs up from me. I think it's easy to use, really nice. Again, the heating up time does take a little bit longer than the other one, but I think the results are so much better with this one. And again, with the other one, it's telling you to start underneath and go like that first and then come back over top and go like this. Whereas I feel like, again, I only have to go over it like this. So like one, maybe two times to get the results, you know, that you were getting over here having to go several times. So yeah, again, I would recommend the TYMO, basically the one that looks like a Dyson to me, um, or like some kind of Dyson tool, but really nice, really sleek. And again, you get a comb, two hair clips, and a really nice velvet travel bag that you could take with you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching.